सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नंबर टू ग्रोइंग अप विथ कॉन्फिडेंस टू पॉइंट सिक्स एंग्जायटी एंड डिप्रेशन ड्यूरिंग ग्रोइंग अप एडोलेसेंट्स ऑल्सो बिकम विक्टिम्स ऑफ एंग्जायटी एंड डिप्रेशन टू पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट वन एंग्जायटी एंग्जायटी इज नॉट एबनॉर्मल everyone gets the feeling of anxiety sometime or the other anxiety is an apprehension of something unpleasant or some danger it causes mental discomfort and pain it may sometimes prove to be useful for example before an examination or competition but an abnormally high level of anxiety is counterproductive as it distracts and lowers the span of attention adolescents sometimes panic out of anxiety without knowing the reason they may even feel a fear of failure in future figure 2.2 parent child communication in this figure we have an image where there are four students one student's father is talking to him like a friend this shows that this student can discuss any subject any problem with his father any time which in result increases self confidence and self esteem page number 23 now continuing with the chapter this makes them tense and tired anxiety may manifest as a need to get medical treatment for an imaginary sleep disorder or some other physical complaint it may also manifest as over breathing hyperventilation syndrome anxiety may even be due to separation from parents or even for having to attend school out of compulsion or due to sex drive adolescents may try to get out of anxiety by self help the right treatment for anxiety lies in seeking help from parents teachers counselors and even friends 2.6.2 depression feeling sad or low is common among the adolescents if the feeling is short lived there is no problem but sometimes symptoms of depression show up as social withdrawal need to weep eating and sleeping problems and feeling of dejection and hopelessness depression at times leads to hostility towards parents society and peers anger is sometimes a psychological reaction for fighting depression if an individual faces pressure he or she should be empowered to access or seek information advice support through appropriate communication from significant adults such as the parents teachers elders relatives peers counselors and health professionals the best way to get out of depression is to engage oneself in various types of physical activities and hobbies 2.6.3 psychosis Psychosis is a medical term for a serious illness in which the patient loses contact with reality. The perception in the patient's mind has no connection with reality of the outside world. The quality of relationships declines progressively and contact with others lessens with time in a psychotic person. A psychotic may also suffer delusions and hallucinations in which the patient imagines voices and happenings which are far from real psychosis may result from abuse of alcohol and drugs injury and traumatic events 2.6.4 suicidal tendency depression and suicidal tendencies often go together it is unfortunate that often a trivial problem drives a person to commit suicide the person feels that it is difficult to run away from unhappiness and death can be the only solution suicide in adolescence is mostly due to a sense of guilt or failure suicidal behavior is usually impulsive it is attempted to punish the self or a loved one often suicide is followed by a quarrel with a loved one it springs from loss of reasoning which is usually temporary for teenagers or for that matter for everyone it is important therefore to think about the consequences before taking any extreme step the need is to take care of such adolescents and help them overcome depression 
it is the responsibility of the parents to talk to the child or consult a counselor if they see any symptoms of depression before it is too late page number 24 2.7 drug or substance abuse Young people are more vulnerable to drug or substance misuse. Young people are more vulnerable to drug or substance misuse and abuse due to peer pressure, poor self-esteem, low achievement at school or family history of drug or substance abuse. Drugs are chemicals. Some are used for treatment and help in recovery from an ailment. But when drugs are used for purposes other than treatment, their consumption becomes drug abuse rather than drug use many a time drugs given for medical treatment are also abused as in the case study that we will discuss certain drugs serve no useful purpose instead have adverse effects on the body drugs such as marijuana hallucinogens and tranquilizers which have an effect on the brain and drive the user into a make believe world of fantasy and provide false feelings of being free from problems these are not only addictive but also have an adverse effect on the brain activity 2.5 listen to the following case and give your opinion raman robin and reena students of class 12 are good friends robin lives in a hostel nearby he once got a bad cold and cough The doctor prescribed a cough syrup. Robin was soon cured. When Robin was ill, Raman and Reena used to visit his room regularly to know about his health and extend their help to him. Once during such a visit, while Robin was taking his medicine, he mentioned its good taste. Later, whenever Reena and Raman came to Robin's room, Raman would taste the cough syrup. He soon acquired such a strong taste that he went and bought the cough syrup for himself from the chemist. Now he has started consuming the syrup every day and does not feel comfortable if he misses it even on one day answer the following questions by giving reasons question number 1 whether taking cough syrup by robin is use why question number 2 whether taking cough syrup by raman is abuse why question number 3 Think about some other substances which are also abused by adolescents. Page number 25. Table number 2.1 gives the names and groups of drugs and their effects. We have this table number 2.1 for you. The table has three columns. The main headings are group, drugs or substances, effect the user feels. The first group is stimulants. drugs or substances amphetamines example benzedrine dexedrine and methadrine cocaine nicotine tobacco effect the user feels temporarily accelerate functioning of the brain central nervous system and the user may temporarily feel alert and full of energy in higher doses stimulants may lead to anxiety or panic mental health problems can occur with increasing use in cases of serious overdose death may occur the next group now depressants drugs or substances alcohol barbiturates example gardenol tranquilizers like valium effect the user feels slow down activity of the brain and may also have hypnotic effects the next group is sedatives drugs or substances hypnotics like mandrax doridan effect the user feels produce opium like effects and stupor this group in short span may produce relaxing but in higher doses these may lead to drowsiness decreased concentration nausea vomiting and sweating further increase in the dose may lead to deep sleep loss of consciousness and even death The next group is narcotics and analgesics. Drugs or substances: opium, morphine, codeine, heroin, brown sugar, synthetic drugs like methadone, pethidine, mephedrine. Effects the user feels. 
produce opium like effects and stupor this group in short span may produce relaxing but in higher doses these may lead to drowsiness decreased concentration nausea vomiting and sweating further increase in the dose may lead to deep sleep loss of consciousness and even death now the next group cannabis hallucinogens drugs or substances bhang marijuana ganja churas lsd lysergic acid diethylamide pcp fencyclidine mescaline psilocybin effect the user feels distort the way in which individuals normally see hear and feel following symptoms of drug abuse are noteworthy physical symptoms reddening and puffiness of eyes unclear vision running nose congestion coughing pale face and dark circles under eyes slurring of speech nausea vomiting and body pain messy appearance lack of cleanliness drowsiness or sleeplessness lethargy and passivity loss of appetite significant weight loss or gain numerous fresh injection marks on body blood stains on clothes profuse sweating page number 26 behavioral symptoms changing mood temper tantrums hostility acute anxiety depression blaming lying making excuses emotional detachment loss of interest in studies sports and in daily routine impaired memory and lack of concentration secrecy in respect of possessions and actions loss of valuables or money from home performance symptoms withdrawal from family environment and non participation in family work sudden lowering of grades in school non completion of homework absenteeism presence of needles syringes and strange packets at home more time spent in personal room in the bathroom or away from home drug abuse in itself is not a cause of hiv and aids or other stis but under the influence of drugs people may engage in risky behavior that makes them more susceptible to these infections furthermore substance abuse influences not only the individual but also the family and even the community the person who gets addicted often loses interest in other activities be it school job or any other responsibility as a result the addicts are not able to undertake their responsibilities and become a liability for their families furthermore it is expensive to buy substances or drugs on a regular basis hence in desperation addicted individuals may be forced to engage in petty crimes there can never be any need for drugs if one leads a meaningful life with nutritious food physical exercise yog satisfying occupation and healthy relationships box number 2.5 it reads saying no with confidence is the only way to protect oneself from sexual harassment read about protection of children from sexual offense poxo act 2012 and discuss with your classmates 2.8 sexual harassment or sexual abuse Sexual harassment is described as any unwelcome sexual gesture or behavior whether directly or indirectly physical contact or advance showing pornography a demand or quest for sexual favor or any other unwelcome physical verbal or non-verbal conduct it also includes molestation and rape it is a criminal act and a punishable offense young girls and boys often become target of sexual harassment or abuse by older and powerful people as per the research a person who is engaged in sexual abuse of young girls and or boys is often known to them boys are equally vulnerable to sexual abuse the blackmailers usually threat the youngsters of serious consequences if they tell anyone in such cases the girl or boy being abused must immediately inform parents or any trusted member for protection
पेज नंबर 27 एक्टिविटी 2.6 लिसन टू द फॉलोइंग केस स्टडीज केयरफुली एंड डिस्कस द क्वेश्चंस विद योर फ्रेंड्स केस स्टडी नंबर 1 मोहित इज 10 इयर्स ओल्ड हिज अंकल ऑफन कम्स ओवर टू मोहित्स हाउस एंड स्टेज ओवर ही ब्रिंग्स लॉट्स ऑफ टॉफीज एंड बिस्किट्स फॉर हिम He always insists on sleeping in Mohit's room. At times he tries to touch Mohit in ways that Mohit does not like. Mohit's parents notice that Mohit has become very quiet and withdrawn but does not share anything with them. Questions for discussion. Question number 1. Why do you think Mohit is uncomfortable with his uncle's behavior? Question number 2. What should Mohit's parents do when they notice that he has become very quiet and withdrawn question number 3 why do you think mohit does not say anything to his parents question number 4 was mohit's uncle abusing him explain your answer case study number 2 sabina and monica study in class 11 and are friends they go out to see a film On the way out of the hall they are teased and harassed by a man who passes obscene comments Sabina wants to make noise about the incident and seek support from others around to confront the man and warn him She also wants to complain to the cinema manager and insist that they act to make the hall safe for women However Monica is not sure of taking the stand She feels that perhaps they should not go to cinema halls on their own to see films and should be accompanied by their parents or brothers who could protect them. Questions for discussion. Question number 1. What do you think Sabina and Monica finally did? Why? Question number 2. What would you have done if you were in Sabina's or Monica's place? Why? Question number 3. Have you noticed or heard of sexual harassment in cinema halls, roads, buses or other public places? Question number 4. What can possibly be done to make public places safer for girls and women? Who all can make this happen? For example, cinema hall managers, police, sensitization or awareness campaigns by schools, girls like Sabina and Monica themselves by supporting one another, etc. Case study number 3 Reena is a 16 year old girl and she studies in class 10 A boy Hemant in her class has been stalking her for some time now He has even proposed to her and she has refused his proposal However the boy went on troubling her saying that when a girl says no she means yes Reena is very angry she wants to tell her teacher but is scared the teacher may not understand Questions for discussion. Question number one: Why do you think Hemant makes the comment when a girl says no, she means yes? What do you think of the comment? Question number two: What advice would you give Hemant if he was a friend of yours? Question number three: What advice would you give Rina if she was a friend of yours? Question number four. Do you think the teacher could play a positive role if told about the situation? If yes, how? The source for this activity are NCERT 2012 training and resource materials, Adolescence Education Program New Delhi. Page number 28. Assessment. Answer the following questions. Question number 1. Give at least one difference between A growth and development. dash b development and maturation dash question number 2 given below are nine statements categorize them into events of growth g development d and maturation m a a baby on seeing his mother begins to utter the word ma b the testis begins to produce sperms c The fetal heart begins to beat. D. A plant observed in the garden a few months ago is now a shrub. E. The baby starts walking without support. F. Aruna has reached menarche. G. Mary can no longer fit into her shoes that were bought for her last year.
age. Hanif needs to shave every day this year before going to school. I. In 2007, Dhruv was only 5 feet tall. On his 14th birthday, his height is 5 feet 10 inches. Question number 3. List factors that affect growth. Question number 4. The teenager should take nutritious diet because fill in the blank. Option dash. Arun is worried because he is not as tall as others in his class. How will you dispel such unnecessary anxiety? Question number 6. Prepare a worksheet writing the response in following things. A. Who all would you include as a support system in case of any problem to be sexual harassment? Think of both people and institutions. B. Why have you included them? People or institutions as a safety net. Page number 29. Question number 7. Why is psychological security necessary for a growing adolescent? Question number 8. Communication between parent and the adolescent child is critical for his or her health. Why? Question number 9. Give at least two reasons of substance abuse by adolescents. A. B. Question number 10. Why is it necessary to discard the myth that women are the weaker sex? Give three reasons. A. B. C. Question number 11. In dealing with the following challenging situations, whom should adolescents approach and why? A. Bullying B. Discrimination by grandmother C. Sexual abuse Question number 12 Growing up with confidence is not a myth. Explain. Question number 13 Write a paragraph in your own words why growth is necessary for all living beings including humans. Question number 14. What is depression? Give three symptoms. Question number 15. Explain the difference between drug abuse and use with the help of examples. Now, we have a project for you. The first requirement is, organize a debate in the class on the topic, growth is natural, so all teenagers grow and behave in the same way. Two. Conduct a survey in your neighborhood picking up 20 boys and 20 girls and prepare a report on their height and weight. How many are overweight? How many are underweight? 3. Why do you think that both boys and girls should be given equal opportunities in life? Give three arguments in favor. A. B. C. Number 4. When heredity defines limits of growth and development, why bother about the environment? Give three arguments against this statement. A. B. C. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yado. Technical coordinator, Buddy Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Shanu Muksim. Assistants in production, Ruchi Sharma. Directed and produced by Vimilesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.